Hello YouTubes, this is Grimweird coming back at you with more Enigmatica 2 Expert Mod Pack playthrough action for Minecraft 1.12.2. As always, we are joined by our lovely assistant and avatar, Zombie Steve, now dressed up as a thaumaturge, because that's the way we roll now. We are magic people now. So, um, we've got the Goggles of Revealing. Uh, that's nice. Um, it does show us what kind of Essentia is hanging out in our crucibles. So that's cool. Um, and we've got the Thaumaturgus robe, leggings, and um, boots for a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13% discount on Viz, which is handy because we're having problems reaching the 150 required to make our runic matrix. Uh, but now with a 13% discount, we can squeeze that bad boy out. So that's what we're going to do. Boom. And that should unlock infusion for us, the next stage at least. And now we got to get some other stuff. Now we can make um, an arcane pedestal and do this mystical construct garbage and I don't know what all this is for uh, but I did also notice that we had um, this in our book we're supposed to make a runic matrix arcane stone and arcane pedestals and I could not make the arcane pedestals but I bet you I can now and so let's give those a roll yes they are now available um, so that's arcane stone slabs we need six of those and an arcane stone we can do that and we need four pedestals so let's um, let's see what we can do here so uh, let's see if the slabs are made in normal crafting yes they are and then let's see if we can make those pedestals And I'm going to be short a couple of stone, uh, but I think that's made in normal crafting. So let's check that out. Yes. So we'll just grab any old Viz crystal in there, and boom, we got that. Let's go ahead and make a bit more of that, because hey, why not? All right, so now we can go one, two, three, four. And infusion crafting is now done. So we're making a serious dent in, uh, in Thaumcraft finally. Uh, we got credit for the goggles and the enchanted fabric. We made the armor. And that's been handy for the Viz discount, if nothing else. Uh, we've now made the inf the Runic Matrix. We previously, last time, made the Smeltery, the Arcane Bellows, the Jars, the Labels. Uh, now we're gearing up to make the Auxiliary Add-ons and the uh, Thaumium Essentia, Essentia Smeltery. Uh, oh, 250 Viz cost. I don't know how the heck we do that. There must be some trick to that, because I don't think I'm getting that anywhere. There must be a trick to it. Um, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, so that's the kind of stuff we'll be working on this episode. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Didn't get anything too exciting from the uh, four or five loot chests we did for the other stuff. Um, for our enchanting armor and etc etc uh, I think the only thing I got was another crystal which was used in a couple of specialty recipes um, but I think that's about where we're at for now um, if we take a look at things here we were hoping uh, hey we can complete that
and we can complete that. And I need to do some more research now for that and for that. Um, alrighty. But that's some more progress made. So if we look through here, um, still got to make one of these. That shouldn't be hard. I just haven't focused on it yet. Aha, now we can do these. So that's what we were hoping for. So now we can do these, which I think are wireless transport nodes for Essentia to get them from your smelting apparatus into jars, I think. At least I hope that's what it is. Hey, let's uh, actually read the damn instructions. I've cracked the method of keeping aerated Essentia stable outside of infusion. I've drawn up plans for two devices, the filling transfuser can take Essentia directly from a pipe network or other Essentia source and transport it to jars within 16 blocks of the direction it is facing. The emptying Essentia does the opposite, drawing Essentia from jars and placing it within tubes. Beautiful. So we are going to want to make that stuff. And then we won't have to worry about all the damn pipes. Um, so we'll set up, a, we'll make a Thomium smeltery. Uh, we'll get all the bells and whistles on it that we can now make, um, all of this improved Essentia, etc. We'll get the Thaumia the Thaumia and this, we'll get a, ourselves a centrifuge and all the good stuff. Um, and then we'll set up a wall full of uh, jars and uh, point um, our stuff at it. And hopefully we will be good to go. Uh, so that's sort of the plan for the rest of this episode. I think we have all the things open and all the recipes available. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is, you know, what kind of viz cost we're looking at some of this stuff. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. Um, that's 150. I think we can squeeze that out now. Um, this is 100. Um, I think we can make all of this stuff now, hopefully. White clear glass. Anyway, I think we can make all this stuff now. So I'm going to go off camera and try and bust through crafting a bunch of this garbage. And uh, then we will set it up in our 13 by 13 by 13 uh, pocket dimension that is doomed to flux contamination. And uh, we'll see if we can do some actual real um, essential grinding. I'm not actually sure how much we need to do, uh, but I want to get that set up anyhow. Um, I need to make a lot of that stuff to, uh, you know, we need to make, you know, the alchemical construct. We need to make a lot of this junk for um, getting through our chapter anyhow. Um, but I'm not sure how much Essentia we'll need after we get done, because literally all I really want to do is finish this chapter and uh, then provide any ingredients that we need for the other um, chapters. I don't want to necessarily go nuts doing a lot of stuff above and beyond um, what we have to do here. But... Um, We do have to make a golem press. That was one thing I did. So I did do just some general research while I was waiting for my tables to recharge so I could make our thaumaturgist robes and whatnot. I did some general research. Um, I got a few spots open on Artifice. Um, looks like I'm close to getting that one open too, which is good. I think we need mirrors for something. Um, and then, um, let's see, we got some of that open. We got some of the Gallimancy open. Um, we can do this now. Need more research. But we got a good chunk of this open, um, just from me doing random table research, just kill time while my table, 
my arcane workbench recharge with Viz. Uh, so it looks like we're in a position to maybe make some stuff here. So that's all good. So yeah, but most of that's going to wait. Um, that's the kind of stuff I'll just keep doing research while we make all of the um, all of the uh, smelting, essential smelting stuff. Anyway, let's stop talking about it and actually do it. Um, so I'm going to cut to uh, cut the camera and do a bunch of crafting of that Essentia garbage. And uh, I will come back and we'll try and get that all set up and see if we can actually do some proper Essentia smelting and uh, wafting of Essentia through the air to our warded jars in preparation for anything we might need it for. Be back in a minute. Alright, I am back with a brief aside. So I uh, was wanting to set up our runic matrix and uh, get prepared for some infusion. Uh, instead of working on the essential tubes, I've been sort of farting around with more, getting more stuff opened up. So I have got a few more things opened up. Um, can't remember when last I showed you the book, but uh, we got a lot of stuff unlocked here. Um, I think Oromancy, I've made a huge amount of progress on Oromancy. I think this was basically nothing but basic before. Uh, we needed a recharge pedestal and a workbench charger, I think, for something coming up. So I worked on a bunch of this stuff, and uh, most of this is done now. Um, and I wanted to sort of finish this off, um, but I need to do Arcane Infusion. So I wanted to set up our Runic Matrix and... Uh, Get prepared for some infusion but um, in reading up on that I realized that and I've also realized this from working with my workbenches that if we pull out our thermometer um, and if I uh, shift to sneak you can see up in the left top corner the little pink thing that says 125.2 um, and then there's purple of 10.5. I'm not sure if that purple is flux or what. But the bottom line is uh, this chunk that I've set my tower up in. And if we go over here to this one, this one's even worse. Doesn't have a lot of viz in its or, or V. A lot of people call it V. Uh, that might be a more Latin or French pronunciation. But uh, it doesn't have a lot of aura, V in its aura. So it's, uh, I was... Once I figured that out, I started flying around and realized that uh, I'm not in the best place for Thumbcraft. If I come over here and start getting into this redwood forest biome, uh, we can see the uh, numbers start going up. Now we're getting up around 256. Um, so I was just looking around for where a good place might be to uh, put down our infuser. It's not like we have to have that chunk loaded. We could just build a little uh, outbuilding and fly over there every once in a while when we need to infuse something. So I was flying around with my thermometer out. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's not great in a lot of the area near my base. Um, but as I was sort of doing spirals around my base, I did come across this thing, which you can probably see mapped on my thing here. So is this am I the right one here? Let's see this one is 310. Um, is this the right one? Yeah, I think that's the right one. 310. So what I'm thinking about doing is setting up a little uh, arcane infuser here um, to use that and uh, I haven't decided if I want to make like a little building around it or not um, but for right now um, I think I'm just going to clear this area up and set something up for our arcane infuser somewhere where we're going to have a lot of uh, V in the aura uh, 310.5 to try and help us get some infusion done so I will be back in a moment. Okay, we are back and getting ready to set up some uh, temple here. 
And uh, first thing I want to do is sort of clear the air a bit, or the ground. So I put, got out my Horn of the Wild, or whatever it is. What is this? Horn of the Wild from Batania. And uh, we can go ahead and trash some of that. And the other thing I was thinking is that uh, it might be sort of cool, uh, since I'm not really going to probably use this much other than making the bare minimum we need to escape the uh, chapter uh, in the uh, quest manual. Uh, I thought I might as well just uh, play more with uh, Direwolf 20's copy-paste gadget. And um, so what I've done here is, let's see, the anchor point is right under this pillar. So if I come around here, this is one of the uh, astral sorcery um, structures. And it looks like it's a bit bigger than I have cleared out, so maybe we'll put it like here-ish. Let's see. Not exactly sure what will happen if it interferes, but we could put it maybe right about there. Well, it bumped it up. Well, I think what we can do there is um, Hit Shift U to undo is what I have it bound to. And let's clear out a bit more dirt. Give ourselves a little bit more room. So one of the things is, is I don't have the, um, I do not have a bunch of marble and sooty marble and all the garbage. So if we take a look at this recipe, um, it takes uh, 225 sooty marble, 80 of the, uh, whatever that is. Uh, you know, a variety of stuff. A total of 325 blocks. But what I do have on me is a paste container with 1,358 blocks on me. So what it'll do is it'll simply make a uh, decorative construction paste version of the things that I am trying to place. So it won't dupe things, it won't create marble out of thin air, but it'll look like marble from uh, Astral Sorcery. So it looks sort of nice. So the construction paste isn't too hard to uh, make. Um, and it gives you sort of a, a nice way to decorate without, uh, without going nuts with resources. Alright, so now and actually, let's fill in a little of this area. We got some of that ugly dirt. Destroy some more of this ground coverage. Uh, let's go bang, bang. Yeah, that's probably good enough. And it's going to start getting uh, going to start getting monstery on us, but. We can probably bang this out real quick. So do that. And that. Go to our copy paste. And we want to basically take up the chunk. Um, how about right about there? There's a something. A peck forager. Interesting. All right, is that at ground level? Yeah, it's at ground level. And um, basically I know that all of the black stuff is within the um, within the uh, chunk that we're playing with. And if we take a look, again, the reason I'm here is that uh, there's 310 V. If we take a look at the pink bar up at the top left, so this is going to be a good place to build my, um, look at all those dudes. Not familiar with those dudes. I'm just going to leave them be, I guess. 
But now we can go ahead and build our um, thing. So is there a center point here? Eh. Well, I think I'll come back and build this uh, in daylight. So I'll pause the recording here. And uh, basically what we're going to do is put the uh, put this structure there and activate it. Put some pedestals around it. Maybe uh, decorate it with some candles and skulls or, you know, monster heads to give ourselves benefits during infusion. Um, and then once we have all that set up, we'll be ready to roll for infusing stuff. So I will pause here and go gather myself some monster heads and candles, and we will come back and get this set up. All right, and we have our bare bones of our arcane infusing area set up. Um, so we've got our main structure here with a pedestal in the bottom center um, and the arcane, uh, or sorry, the rune matrix uh, two above it. And we've got a couple of two by talls um, of arcane stones around them. I've put some enlightened clear glass around here just to lighten things up. I've got a bunch of pedestals around it to set things on. Not 100% sure what a good pedestal pattern is or what the maximum number is. So I just made something that sort of mirrors our, uh, our uh, eight-pointed star from our tower. Um, so that should probably work fine. I think I can get most six-ingredient and eight-ingredient things on here in a symmetrical way. So uh, what we have now is we're going to throw some Salus Mundus on this. And poof, we have a thingy. So we're about good to roll here. Um, I did make a bunch of candles um, and, and brought a bunch of heads. I'm not exactly sure what a good pattern for this is or anything other than that things should be uh, roughly symmetrical. Um, so I might wait and just uh, set this up a bit later. Um, yeah. We'll see. Because the next thing I need to do, um, all of this is to try and just clean out my, um, what am I on here? Oh uh, yeah, Oromancy. I wanted to get this blank advanced. Oh, nope, that's not it. Oh uh, yeah, the blank advanced uh, focus, because I already only have a blank lesser fo focus. So I'm just hoping to uh, clean out this um, here. Because I think that's about the last thing except for this that I need uh, in Oromancy. Um, and of course we are looking at uh, needing some of this stuff for our uh, completion of our chapter here. So we need the blank advanced one and a blank greater one. Presumably the blank greater focus will open up once I get the blank advanced focus. Uh, that's another reason I'm sort of focusing on this. Ooh, I've got candles. So we are continuing to do stuff. I'd also sort of like to make the uh, um, the infusion speed stone and cost stone. Those are stones that you put under these uh, infusion pillars. Um, to just, uh, you know, make them go faster or cost less. But uh, we've got this bad boy sort of set up now. Uh, it's in a... Uh, it's in a uh, nice handy um, area. So we've got a decent amount of viz here. And um, so the next thing we need to do is basically get ourselves, smelt ourselves some stuff. So we're going to need 25 precantatio in a jar and 50 ordo. Um, so I need to go back and now start working on our smeltery. Uh, we now have access to a ton of that stuff. Uh, we have access to all of the good stuff here, I think. Um, so I should be able to make a Thalamium Asinchus smelter 
and some of this other junk and uh, get us some uh, stuff going. I do probably also want to uh, get uh, into this stuff because I am hearing my occasional heartbeat which means I think I have some warp on me. I'm getting the auditory you know <laughs> hallucinations or what have you. Um, so those are starting. Um, I'm not sure uh, how worried I should be about that. Um, I do remember that you don't want to go insane. You start getting all sorts of crazy debuffs. Uh, so we are going to have to take some action there. And it looks like there are options to us. I got the, uh, the salts. Um, I've got that recipe done. Um, and I've got the Arcane Spa researched. Um, I need to research some more alchemy to get the sanity soap going. Um, and uh, once we have all this stuff unlocked, we'll take a look at building some of that and see if I can stop hearing the uh, the warp effects or whatever, the occasional thump, 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 thump of my heartbeat. But I think that's going to call it for uh, this episode. Uh, we a long way towards uh, getting our infusion going, and um, we got our infusion altar in place and set up in a good chunk. Uh, we got a lot of skulls and candles ready to go as soon as I figure out where to put them. Um, so yeah, next time we'll uh, smelt some Essentia and infuse a few things. Um, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll talk at you later. Bye.